I Used to Go Here, written and directed by Chris Ray, formerly Chris Swanberg, starring Gillian Jacobs, Josh Wiggins, Jermaine Clement, and Hannah Marks, that originally was supposed to have its premiere at South by Southwest, follows the story of Kate Conklin, a first-time author who's just been invited to do a reading at her alma mater, and then all sorts of awkward and crazy situations ensue. Despite the absurdity, as well as the film's structure, there are some positives when it comes to the main theme of I used to go here. Gillian Jacobs as Kate Conklin is able to guide the audience through a world between worlds, the one where a lot of post-grad millennials are dealing with today. The feeling of time and space where you reminisce on your collegiate conquests while you also find yourself in the dream that you once had, but you end up realizing that dream isn't the reality you expected it to be. Jacobs is able to convey those feelings very clearly, however, these emotions are only confronted towards the end of the film, and by that time, it just feels too late to make the impact that Ray probably would have liked. Jermaine Clement vividly portrays a creepy former college professor with a little too much ease. He is just so slithery and his levels of creepiness are akin to the nice guy archetype. It just oozes out of him whenever he's on screen. While both Jacobs and Clement are the stars of the film, those that really shine are Brandon Daly and Ramel Chan, as they're able to make the most out of their characters' smaller situations and bring a higher profile to those characters. While these are the best performances and I used to go here, the way the film is structured really separates itself from what could have been a good film. I Used to Go Here is structured in a way that most indie millennial drama films are structured in its style, cinematography, language, and overall feel, which is the main reason why, for the most part of the film, it doesn't feel like a comedy at all when it, when it identifies itself as one. It's full of perfectly awkward moments that are exactly that, awkward and clunky. It feels like they're trying and, I mean, really trying to be on the Napoleon Dynamite level, where an absolutely outrageous thing is said and in complete sincerity, but it's so absurd. There are scenes that I have nothing to do with story or, and they really feel more like an SNL sketch. Uh, there's one in particular where the guy, um, I can't remember his name. He's one of the Lonely Island guys is there and it just, it, it's pretty much an SNL sketch and it's just very weird uh, to have put in place there. It's, the whole kind of structure of it makes no sense why he's there in the first place. But um, I Used to Go Here has a mixed idea of what it wants to be, and it feels more like vignettes or sketches in a feature film's Girl, body. I Used to Go Here doesn't quite reach the quality it could have had with its good performances and strong theme. The structure or lack thereof, its indecisiveness to identify its self-proclaimed genre, and its sketch-like feel really makes the film fall a little flat. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I would also really appreciate it if you liked the video, subscribed, and let me know what you think about this film.